Capturing plain life on film is obviously a potent way to preserve ordinary history. Old movies can put us in the past and help us understand the allure of places, even in times gone by. Now, these movies were shot by the Gallo family out in Westmoreland County. They opened a giant swimming pool known as Ligonier Beach in 1925. It's still here, and it's a very cool place. All these trees here, everything's green, and uh, it just has appeal. It gets you out of that damn city. I came here as a teenager. That's where we came to meet girls and everything, you know? People swim here when they were little kids. They're bringing their grandchildren now. That's how long the pool's been here. It's a great place to meet your friends here. Mostly every day, I'm making new one. We come here every day that we can. Mm, six days a week, some maybe even seven. Well, I remember my girlfriends and I walking out here, riding our bikes out here to come swimming. If my mother knew that, she'd kill me. We love it here. Sometimes you can do, like, head bursts, um, or dives. dives. I've been coming here for about 25 years. I didn't know you knew how to do a flip. I do. Probably 50-some years. Two, three times a week from Pittsburgh. Why'd you say you did it? And we have a pool in our own yard, but uh, we enjoy this quite a bit. The 60s, man, it was it was the place to be. It was the coolest spot to be in. <laughs> I don't. And which one is it? You do or you don't? I don't. <laughs> well, there used to be a high dive here where you could show off. But such things are insurance problems now, like the slide. It was hugely popular, and it's still here, but they won't let you use it. Tom Gallo and his wife Tilly came by the pool this day, even though they sold the place in 1997 to the Graham family. Tom grew up here, along with his younger brother, John. I learned to swim when I was five years old, right in here. I did everything here. I was a locker boy. I was a paper picker, a butt picker. Uh, Dad had a well drilled right near the building there, 180 feet deep. And the water was perfect. And my father helped to build the pole, and we were here for opening day, and I was three years old. Flossie Gaskins has come to Ligonier Beach almost every day, every summer since then. I watch the people. I'm a people watcher. Hi, Peggy. Good. How are you? And I uh, read and just enjoy. People, they'll drive for an hour and a half to get here, and they, they have their chairs they usually sit on, and they want them. I mean, that people have been coming here for years. We always try to get here when the place opens so we can get one of these chairs. Everybody fights for the chairs. Because if you're not here you don't early, you don't get one of the chairs. And Everybody knows it's theirs, and you just don't fool with that. If you don't get a chair, you're nobody. Don't come near my chair. chair. If you don't get one of the chairs, there is a small sand beach along one side, and Ligonier Beach over the years has booked a variety of entertainers. They used to have big bands. My parents came up when they were going together. And of course, they used to have dances and things here too in the evenings. Dean Martin was here. They saw Perry Como here, Dean Martin. But there's no question, it's the giant pool with the gradually sloping sides that's always been the main attraction. The size of the pool amazes me. That's the, the biggest thing still to this day. It's just so huge. It holds 1,300,000 gallons of water. The pool's uh, 400 feet long and 125 across. This pool's big and the water's always cold here. And it's just real refreshing. It's, it's nice here. I always say, if you want to take a bath, take a bath. If you want to go swimming, come to Ligonier Beach. It's a little cool. Because it comes in through an artesian well that's underneath here. But on a hot day, that doesn't really matter. It's very invigorating. It makes you feel good. Refreshing. The pool has always had a geyser-like fountain with a nozzle that everybody has to try and play with. And then they had what they called a wheel. There used to be a big wheel that you could ride around. You go up in the air, then you come down and kind of go under the water. It was up in the lower part. It was, uh, I'd say, maybe 12 feet in diameter. And it was on a bearing. My father designed all this. Well, when that thing got wet, it was slippery. The fun part was to push the person in front of you off. Now, if you, you got on the edge of it, you could run or walk on it, it would rotate. And a lot of people had cuts and bruises. And, and then all these people would be flying off, laughing and carrying on. <laughs> it was dangerous. 
Yeah, but probably lots of fun, too. But worries about liabilities led to its removal as well. Those gimmicks got to go. But the pool survives. The fact that it's still here proves that its basic and fundamental charms are what's really important. Every year, the fact that it closes and then opens up again. It has a certain mystique to it. Again, my kids just, you know, that's what they, they look for. And they're anxious to get out. And, you know, the girls are anxious to wear those ridiculous bathing suits that don't exist, really. Uh, early in the morning and, er and early evening, right before it closes. Tradition is more important than you think it is because they're all looking to do the same thing they did when they were growing up. And the men are anxious to come out and see what's going on. It's a beautiful place just for serenity and peace. It's like a cheap vacation, really. I don't know where you duplicate this. You know, this was just a clip. To get a DVD copy of this entire program or others like it, please call 1-800-274-1307 or visit wqed.org and click on Shop WQED.